Hello everybody, it's me, Dana, and I am going to be um, reading aloud to you the uh, spiritual contract revocations that have been written and posted by um, Andrew Bartzitz. So I am reading his work that he has uh, graciously posted on the internet. You can find this information yourself on his website, thegalactichistorian.com. He's an extremely connected and um, amazing soul here doing his part here on our journey to this, um, <clears throat> this great um, ascension and um, free will, freedom and prosperity and abundance and peace and love uh, for all of us uh, coming to fruition. So he's an amazing being with amazing talent of reading the Akashic Records. So if you've had inklings about your soul, if you wanted to know more about really where this soul has been, I mean, it's been there, done that for a lot of things, for a lot of years, um, millions of years, some of the souls here that are here now for this end time. Why? Because it's a really big show. It's a really big time. So know this right now. If you are here on the planet at this time, you, you a pretty big deal. I mean, you got to be in the master class to be here at this time. Um, yeah, sure, maybe there's a few innocent bystanders going, really? Really? This is like the greatest show on earth? <laughs> and we just happen to be here? You know, we're uh, just touring the galaxies. We thought we'd stop by here and check it out. And huh, look what we ended up showing up for. You're a pretty lucky soul. Um, <laughs> I don't think that's how it works, honestly. Um... You gotta know some shit. You've had some experiences to be here. So those thoughts that you've had, those imagination thoughts that, you know, are really out there. You know, maybe you think, oh, well, when I was a child, I used to imagine I was, or that I could, you know. I used to, I used to think that I could talk to the rocks, and I used to believe that I could talk to the trees. And I honestly, honestly was certain I must have been, at one time, a bird, and a princess, and a queen. Oh, I do believe, I do believe I've done some amazing things. What are your, your imagination, your inklings, what are those messages that your soul is getting you to gently remember and wake up to again? Because it's real. It is part of all of the journeys and experiences that you've had. And you've come to this time on earth to wake up all of those knowings gently and bring them all into this final chapter here. Because it's a really big finale. It's like, you know, when autumn, when all of the trees get out their, their best costumes, their best colors, the best show, right? You know, spring is amazing when everything is starting to come to life. It's like the beginning of the play. You're just starting to figure out what the plot is. And then as it warms up and you into, into the summer, you know, you're right into it. You know, it's like, whoa, things are really gaining some momentum. And this is, we've been feeling that, that things have been gaining some momentum out there. Like the energies and everything and a lot of um, things have been lifted and it's like we're in a swirling um, globe and uh, imagine the wind is picking up the old debris that doesn't fit anymore so the old debris in your life the old debris in your soul doesn't fit anymore like you know what I can't think these thoughts anymore they make me sick they've got to go 
So those are, that's what's happening for so many of you. And it's been very, very uncomfortable, right? Because, hey, if I don't have those thoughts and beliefs, well, then what do I have? Fear kicks in. Oh, bring them back, bring them back, bring them back. I have to know something because if I don't know things, I'll die. I won't exist anymore if I don't know, if I'm not in the know. But ironically, holding on to the old debris, the old shit, that knowing is what your soul is really trying to get you to let go of and to reassure you beyond a shadow of a doubt that you're not going to die. Those old thoughts and beliefs and traditions will die. Yes. Wait. Don't go to panic mode because it's like a beautiful new spring. Because it gets replaced with things that your soul knows your mind's going to love once you let go of that other stuff. Oh, let it go. Let it go. I can feel the pressure building in the back of a lot of your heads just at the thought of letting it go. I can feel it in mine. Just imagine there's a big clump of tar in the back of your skull here in the muscle tissue. It's like in between the muscle tissue and the cells and it's like this big clump of tar. And just imagine just whew, warming that up, warm it up, warm it up. Whew, you've got heat coming out of your hands, warm it up. Warm up that tar. Get a little softer, get a little softer. Yes, yeah, soften it up. And now pull it out. Ooh, release some of the pressure in your head. <sighs> Pulling some of that out. I'm helping a lot of you pull out some of these dark energies and these dark thoughts. If you're tuning in here now, I'm picking up your energies and I am helping you. <sighs> yes, feel. Feel the release. Feel the release. Yes, keep pulling. There's a lot of pressure in there for a lot of you. Feel the release. Feel it. Feel it. It's kind of like um, it's like a fuzzy feeling inside the head now. Like, whoa, what is that? Okay, it's an empty space. So let's let's visualize some white light going in there. Some white light going in there, and oh, now some nice, cool, beautiful violet light in there and then some green some green light in there oh that feels better okay okay so these are doubts these are fears and we've let some go we're letting them go now what Andrew has created on his website are some spiritual contract revocations for the divine feminine, the divine masculine, for the banking systems, for the media systems, for the government systems. There have been, um, we all know that um, these entities have been using sacred geometries and knowings about us and stealing our energies and manipulating us using this knowledge. Well, this is the time where your soul is going, okay, it's time to wake up. Enough is enough. Enough playing weak, dumb guy who doesn't know nothing, okay? Right? You really are like Spider-Man. You really can talk to the rocks. You really can speak to the trees. You are a healer. You are a, an ascended master. You are a mystery agent here to help bring the big finale to the biggest sting you've ever seen. Um, honestly, there's so much going on here. And it's, it's really, you know what? A lot of you want to be in dream time more often. Why? Why? Because that's where you're tuned in, tapped in, and turned on to what the bigger picture is, right? And um, until... This part of your world, this waking part, 3D reality, wakes up to the other part of your reality. Slowly, it's like you're inside this bubble and there's this um, mass of cotton and stuff in the bubble. And as we're pulling out the untruths and the old beliefs that 
that were put in there by other beings, um, we inherited a lot of these beliefs from generations and generations and generations ago of um, debt that our, our ancestors had put upon them and they, it's just been passed on to us and we're not even aware of a lot of it. But as we do these spiritual contract revocations and we clear out this energy, now I know it looks weird what I'm doing, but honestly I'm feeling dark energies and I'm being guided to move them out for a lot of you there. That's what happens when I tune into someone else's energy. Uh, I can pick up where your darkness is and I, I can see the limiting thoughts and beliefs and uh, that have been put on your soul's contract and I can help you alleviate them as well. So this is part of the gifts that I'm waking up to and um, getting out there to share with a lot of you. It's like I can tune in and go, oh, this, no, no, this has got to go, this has got to go, this has got to go. Um, during one of the um, soul cleansing um, that I did recently with a client, um, he asked when I was finished because I was just I was tugging on his arms and uh, and his in his legs and I, I was just seeing all this energy around him and I had to come up and uh, he says what were you doing I says well I says it's like um, it's like when the tree is infested. He goes, yeah, he says, it, that's what it felt like. He says, like, you're taking, um, like, an infection that's gone into my branches, and you had to get it out. And I go, yes. We had to get out of the root system. We had to get it out of the, the soul family branches. And we had to get it out of you. So mentally, physically, emotionally, um, we're all going through a big, huge release at this time. For the last um, nine months, I have been feeling extreme pain in my mid um, section from like the mid back down to uh, my hips. Like, like I would just walk around going, oh my God, I'm a hundred. I'm a hundred million. Oh my God. And seriously, I was, my body is feeling amazingly healthy, but at a certain time of the day, it was like, I was just hunched, you know, in so much pain here, and my joints and everything. I was feeling like I was a hundred million years old, and you know, maybe I am. However, this physical body is not and should not have been feeling that way. And so that's another thing that um, Andrew Bartz's um, readings and recordings have helped me with was to tune into that message that I was getting it was to clean up to clean up to clean up well I was cleaning out my mental clutter and my emotional clutter I was working on those things but the physical body needed a good detox and that's what I've been working on this um, past month detoxing my body because honestly I felt like it was just oh, I felt like it was full of shit seriously I felt that way mentally physically and emotionally full of shit and it had to go and um, so many of you out there are going through the same thing I know because I'm like a mushroom it's like oh god here oh oof, what it, oh you know, and I can tell when you're getting high, high, high doses of depression and anger and fear from the media because, oh my God, I start walking around and it's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm terrified and overwhelmed and feeling this and this. And it's like, oh, what the heck is going on? I was, I was fine. And then all of a sudden it was just got so overwhelming. So I believe a lot of that was fed to you through your commercials and underlying sublim subliminal messages and things going on there during a lot of the uh, Thanksgiving Day advertisings on the TV and radio. So um, that's why when you go to start going down your spiritual awakening journey, everyone that you run into that you go to seek guidance from tells you, <laughs> turn off the TV, 
turn off the TV, get rid of the TV, unplug, unplug, unplug. You have to unplug from all of that. If you want to really truly plug into all of this, because this is the most amazing, powerful being on the planet. The human is the most amazing, powerful being on the planet. Once it unplugs from all of those things and steps into its power, you cannot step into all of who you are while you're being drained by all of them. That's why there is such a rampant, rampant, you know, ongoing um, um, race for your energy. To, to steal your energy is quite easy. It's stealing your attention because wherever your attention lies, that's where your energy goes. So you have been giving away your energy to a lot of stuff, but not yourself. When's the last time you got quiet, sat still, and went inside and listened to your heart and to your soul? When's the last time you spent an hour dedicated to focusing your attention on your inner knowings, your inner self, your inner health, your mental health, your physical health, your emotional health, without all that distracting and draining you by stealing your attention away? When's the last time you took your power back? When's the last time you were truly in all of your power? Detached from all of those draining of your energies and powers. You don't get to be Superman if you're always out there delivering newspapers and talking about this and gossiping about that and plugged into this and giving your energy away to your phone and to your to your computer and to your car and you know and to your to your 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 addictions and by the time you fed all of those things really how much time have you spent on your spiritual self stepping into its life's purpose and understanding its magical gifts and its powers and its unique and why it's here at this time on earth. And if you're not putting the time in to do that, to spend sacred time listening to yourself, then you're feeling depleted. You're feeling, oh my God, I'm missing it. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm missing it. I'm missing it. No, you can't miss it. You're here. But you'll get a lot more out of it. If you spend that time and go inside and listen to your, what your soul's messages are. Now, one of my epiphanies as I've been cleaning out um, mentally, physically, and emotionally, um, doing the cleanse um, as best as I could with what I had here, um, cleaning out the, the intestines and the colon and... Uh, My messages were coming in clear. It was like I could hear my soul louder. I'm like, holy moly. <laughs> we put some of our ears, our soul ears down here. <laughs> our gut knowings. Our inner ear down here that says, oh no. No, I don't feel right in my gut. Well, it's been plugged up by a lot of us. And we haven't been able to trust because it's been plugged up with shit. And when our intestinal tract and our colon and all of that is plugged up with shit, well, oh, we don't trust nothing. Why? Because it's clogged up. We can't, we can't get our messages clear. So... Get your butt in the tub, have some nice warm salt baths. Really soak it, start massaging back here, massaging that um, 
where it feels so stiff and hard and clogged up because it is. Um, I'm not the only one who's feeling this, right? So I've felt a great, huge, immense release. This is the first time in um, almost nine months that I've f felt comfortable standing upright. I've been wanting to be, you know, I, I love to walk. I love to be out there walking. But I'd be out there walking, it's like, oh my God, I have the overwhelming to stop and just bend right over, you know, like I needed to be bent over to try and to get rid of that. It felt like this middle section was kinked, it was clogged. It's like, you know, imagine something stuck in your straw and it's like, something's not right, something's not right. It's not moving, it's not moving. My kidneys were bothering me, um, everything. So. I'm on day five without coffee, <laughs> and um, so that was a big one because um, it, I, I knew, I knew, I knew I had to let it go for a while and because it wasn't helping. It was actually probably a major part of the problem. So I um, gave up my coffee and um, been drinking warm water with sea salt in it in the morning. It is so gross, but you know what? You think, huh, this helps me step into my superpowers. This is going to clean out the shit so I can figure out exactly who I am and what I came here to do. I need a, this, anything, anything that's going to help me connect with my soul's messages and hear them more clearly. I'm willing to do that. So, yeah, I can drink some warm, salty water in the morning and clean myself out. I can suck on some lemons. I can drink lemon juice. I can do these things. And I can clear myself out of doubt and clear myself out of fears. And I can make time for sacred time to go within and focus on me, myself, and I's desires, soul's desires. I make time to do the things that put the smile in my heart. I detach from dream energy suckers. I make a point to cut the cords every day. You start doing these things. Start trusting your messages. You're not crazy. It's not your imagination. It's your soul talking. And you came here to do some amazing things. Some of you are healers. And once you heal these things within yourself, oh, the power you will discover. I love, love, love helping someone remove their clutter. It's just, oh, I love doing it. <laughs> I said to uh, one of the ladies I was doing the cleansing with recently, I says, I feel like a spiritual garbage man. I'm here to clean out your clutter so your can, spirit can finally get through to you and, and you can hear it. And find your happy. Happy's a real rich. Nothing else matters, folks. Because when you connect with your soul's messages, when you discover your habit, really, there's nothing better. Sheer bliss, sheer bliss, sheer bliss happens when you speak your truth. So for those of you out there who can talk to the rock people, start sharing your truth with more people. And stop having a misconception of what other people think of you. Because truly, indeed, it is our own thoughts of ourselves that is slightly misaskewed that keeps us from shining our true light, our true essence. We have been putting some judgments upon ourselves. We have been telling ourselves, whoa, I'm not good enough. I'm not ready. 
no, I can't possibly help anybody else really, truly. <sighs> I'm not ready yet. Well, when are you going to be ready to live your life and discover you're happy and listen to your soul's messages? Really? You are ready. You are. You just need some more information maybe and a little more help on how. And I've shared some of those with you here today. Um, there's lots of resources out there on the internet. I'm, I'm planning on doing a, a reading show here. I'm not sure exactly how to do it on Google Hangouts yet. But um, if I can't figure that out, um, I'm willing to um, do readings with anyone out there who feels they need some help. Connect with me, and we'll do some readings. We'll do it via Skype or whatever way we can figure out, okay? So message me by commenting down below and say, yes, Dana, I need a reading, you know? And um, let's get you started. Let's get going, okay? I'm going to do a separate recording and I'm going to verbally uh, speak out loud Andrew Bartz's revocation of um, banking systems and that so that you can listen to them yourselves and maybe repeat after me so that you can say it as well. Smiles to all of you. <sighs> Bit of, ah, uh, didn't know what I was going to say here, but. Um, it just came out, so I'm going to go with it, that this is what the majority of you who are tuned in are needing to hear from me today. So thanks for sharing. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for your beautiful messages back to me, because so many times your light shining on me has helped me keep the path, keep going, have the inspiration to do another video when... Um, fear and doubt were trying to prevent me from doing so. So if I helped any of you out there today, please let me know. And um, if you liked it, share it with your friends, share it with others. Maybe somebody in your circle is trying to find their voice to speak their truth and let other people know what they can do. Okay? And if someone comes to you to share some weird things that are going on, listen with the ears in your heart. Don't doubt. Don't judge. Just listen. Be fascinated. Let that person speak their truth. Because it will be very important to find the right ears when you need to speak your truth. Okay. If you need a safe space to try and uncover some of your truths, then connect with me and let's let's do a reading, okay? Smiles to you everybody. It's me, Dana.